What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. As I think you liked the English bit with five C2 personality adjectives, in today's video, we're going to learn five more. Are you ready? So take a notebook and let's crack on. First, we're going to learn one negative adjective and then four positive ones. So the first negative adjective is complacent. Complacent. The stress goes on the second syllable. Complacent. And we use this adjective to describe people who see no need for change even if needed. They are easily satisfied with situation and feel they don't need to try any harder. En castellano podríamos decir que es alguien autocomplaciente o conformista. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I can't put up with his complacent attitude anymore. And the second, she can't afford to become complacent about her achievements. And now let's start with our positive adjectives. And the first positive adjective that we're going to learn is observant. Observant. Lon e. Observant. And we use this adjective to describe somebody who is good and quick at noticing things. En castellano sería alguien observador. And now let's look at some examples. The first one. My mom always knows if I'm in a bad mood. She's observant. And the second example. Have you had your hair cut? Yes, you're so observant. And now let's move on to our third positive adjective, which is vivacious. Vivacious. Be careful with the pronunciation of the sound v and don't pronounce it like b. V. Vivacious. Vivacious. And we use this adjective to describe somebody who is lively, energetic and enthusiastic. En castellano podríamos decir que es alguien vivaz. And now let's look at two examples. The first one. What I like most about her is that she's vivacious. And the second example, please never change. Stay as vivacious as you are forever. And now let's look at our adjective number four, which is meticulous. Meticulous. And we use this adjective to describe people who check everything carefully and pay great attention to every detail. En castellano es muy parecido a alguien meticuloso. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, I have no doubt that the presentation will be a success. You are so meticulous about everything. And the second example, he edited the video with meticulous attention to detail. And last but not least, let's learn the adjective unobtrusive. Unobtrusive. The pronunciation is long u. Unobtrusive. And we use this adjective to describe people who like to remain in the background. En castellano sería alguien discreto o desapercibido. The first example. Unlike her, he's unobtrusive and prefers to stay out of the spotlight. And the second example. He wouldn't like to become famous, as he's always been quite unobtrusive. So I really hope you liked this English bit and these five C2 personality adjectives. If you want to learn more, don't forget to check out the first edition right here. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!